This video will cover the setup of a new cartridge on a Techniques 1200 series turntable. These practices can also be applied to most other turntables. I am replacing my Shure M44-7s with new Audio-Technica XP7 elliptical cartridges. Start by placing your preferred slip mat or rubber mat on the platter. Ensure that the turntable is level on both its length and width. If not level, adjust the turntable height via the four feet. Each foot can be individually adjusted by simply tightening or loosening as needed. Adjust each foot until the turntable is level in either direction. Remove your old cartridge and clean the tonearm contacts and ground with a cotton swab soaked in rubbing alcohol. I recently cleaned mine, so it's not terribly dirty, but if you've never cleaned the contacts before, it may take several Q-tips to remove the corrosion. Open, inspect, and install your new cartridge. My cartridge came pre-installed on a head shell. If yours does not, you will need to secure it on the head shell with a pair of screws, secure the wires, and set the overhang. Set your vertical tracking force as per the manufacturer's specifications. Audio-Technica recommends between 2 and 4 grams of weight. I'm going to set this to 2 grams. Before setting the weight, it may be a good idea to protect the stylus with a cover to prevent accidental damage. Remove the tonearm from the clamp and let it freely float. Spin the counterweight as far back from the tonearm as you can. Gradually spin the counterweight forward until the tonearm is in perfect balance. Then spin the black disc on the front of the counterweight so that it reads zero at the top of the tonearm. Now spin the entire counterweight forward until you reach your preferred weight. I am stopping at two since I am only applying two grams of force. Next, set the anti-skate, which is the dial to the immediate right of the counterweight. As a general rule of thumb, the anti-skate should be equal to the counterweight. So in my case, I am setting mine with the arrow pointing towards 2. To set the tangency and overhang, you will need a special turntable protractor. There is a link in the description to a free protractor from Audio-Technica. Print out the protractor and place the spindle through the illustrated hole. Align the tone arm with the center of the outermost grid and set the stylus tip on the point. Align the sides of the cartridge with the A set of lines and align the front of the cartridge so that it is parallel with the B set of lines. Repeat this process for the inner grid. My XP7 was right on the money and needed no adjustments, but my M44-7 did need to be adjusted. To adjust the cartridge, loosen the screw securing it to the head shell and gently move it until it aligns as described above, then re-tighten the screws. The easiest way to set the vertical tracking alignment of the tone arm is to place the tone arm on the vinyl and kneel down so that it is at eye level. The tone arm should be parallel to the platter. If you want to be a bit more precise, draw some straight lines on a sheet of paper and place it on the platter directly behind the tone arm. You want the tone arm to begin and end at the same level on the line. If not, you will need to adjust the height of the tone arm assembly by spinning the arm height dial. I had to lower mine so that the arrow indicated zero to get it as parallel to the platter as possible. To set the cartridge azimuth, find a record which you know to have the same left and right output or a true mono record, and place the stylus on the vinyl and spin the record. Watch the VU meters on your mixer to indicate any difference in signal. If one side is louder than the other, your azimuth may be off. To adjust, gently raise your tone arm and use a low-profile screwdriver or drill bit to loosen the two screws just behind the tone arm contacts. Rotate the head shell to the left or right until it looks even. Partially tighten one screw and place it back on the record. Observe your VU meters for any change and continue to adjust as necessary. Once your levels are equal, fully tighten both screws. If you have the M5G turntable, you will have a horizontal weight adjustment knob. If you are using your turntable for scratching, fully turn the horizontal weight adjustment knob in the direction of the platter. If you are using your turntable for normal playback, fully turn the knob away from the platter. Use specialty brushes to wipe away the dust from your record and the stylus. After that, you're all done. Enjoy your new cartridge on your Techniques turntable.